Alrighty. Uh, let me go grab the team that I had before. Please don't tell me it's- oh no, that's right. Yeah. You know, I could probably take Rickram off the team. And put Ty on the team, but I don't know what Ty would do, is the question. I mean, I guess I can struggle bot again just tank. Because Rekrim does have higher. Thank you. Higher defenses. Alright. Let's go. Mm, yeah, that's a fine lead for now. I'll reevaluate everything. Hello, we're here to investigate the problem. I know who you are. Callista told me you were coming. Hopefully you all have more balls in the last group. <laughs> you tried to board the ship. That ship is so tiny! I always thought the little ships were so small. What's up with it? This ship docked here last night and no one knows where it came from. Wherever, whenever someone boards it, they get haunted by a mysterious figure and haul ass. What? It's creepy as hell, man. Very interesting. Captain Dakar, the gym leader of Neos City, is expecting to dock his giant ship here tomorrow. And he can't because this damn thing won't move. No one can stay in the damn thing for more than five minutes. Let's time it. Barrett, we should help out. Yeah, we'll be taking it from here. It's not like we got anything else to do until Callista's done hacking the chip. Then it's settled. Come on in and don't wuss out like the others. Warning, it is recommended to have monsters between the levels of 55-60 before entering. You will not be able to return after boarding the ship until the mission is complete. Nice. Put a warning in there for you. Uh, okay, but I want to see... Oh, yes, you were saying. Oh no, I was just saying I wanted to see this tiny ship compared to the giant ship that old boy is bringing. <laughs> I was gonna say, Cruz says that's why you had to stock up on them, healing items. Uh, but there isn't any other encounters there, so you don't need balls. Yeah, it's very nice of the games to warn you. Versil says, take notes, Pokemon glazed. This is just a clown car of a ship, honestly. <laughs> it parks here and it looks so tiny, and you touch it and you just get warped inside. Because it haunted is a haunted ship. ship. Alright, let me look at the lead again, because that is... Ice body... Ice punch... It's the speed. I'm pretty sure I could one-shot this thing before it can hit me with a waterfall. It's spooky on the inside. Don't forget to check the bins. Got it. Uh, I just need to see where the leader is. Also, every room, most of them duds, but some good stuff eventually come to the fight. Yeah, I think our lead, the lead that we have, should be fine. That's some cheerful music for a haunted ship. There's nothing here. Also go left, yep. It's a haunted ship, so we become ghost-like. With very cheerful music. Yep, we can run through walls. There's nothing here. To cheerful here. music. What the? Was that a little girl? Leave, or you will die. It's just the one wall. 
but we can go wherever we want. Well, sort of. Alright. It's locked tight. I can't get in. So you're... So if you leave, you're immortal. Life hacks. There's some rooms you can go into, but I don't remember which. Check out the other area before the kitchen. Hey. Hey. Chris looks more alert than usual. I wonder if he's afraid of ghosts. Of ghosts, not of ghosts. Right. I hope this isn't the fight. And down here leads to the bottom rooms. Most of the strange activity has been reported on this floor, though. Maybe that's because no one has lasted long enough in this place to reach downstairs. I mean, there's not much of this place to explore, minus the wall that we can walk through, the little girl who disappeared, and no other walls, I can't go into the kitchen, and Bruce won't let me pass there, so... Kurt also and says, you're in the way of the stairs here, so... Yeah. yeah. Kurt also says, no, you'll know when there's a fight. We've been here for a solid three minutes, and nothing has happened yet except for this odd fog. You sure this isn't just a ghastly or a rotom playing tricks on people? It's more to it than that, damn it. Hey, did any of you see a little girl near the entrance? No, I didn't. No. Nothing. What's up with those empty bowls near the front door anyway? I don't know. I keep putting them back in the kitchen, but someone or something keeps putting them back on the floor in the same pattern. Size. I don't know what to say, dude. There's nothing happening. It's not like we're witchers and we can run around this place tracking clues. <laughs> witchers reference. That line was, that line not, was so needed. not needed. Agreed. Whatever. Look, you can all stay in the rooms downstairs until something happens. Because believe me, it will. I'm going upstairs to the captain's quarters. Fine, Bruce is over there keeping a watchful eye out on this floor, so I guess we can all chill downstairs in the luxury room. Luxury rooms. Very well. I suppose. And come on. I don't know, something isn't right about this place. I can sense it. Russell, okay, gang, let's spill it up. Shaggy and right. Scoob, check the okay, kitchen. Let's spill up. Always. Oh, another leftovers to add to the leftovers pile. It's on there. The door is locked for now. I'll try and get back in again. Lock tight. What a ripoff, Senpai? Do you see this? How is this luxury? Well, it is an old haunted ship, so... God, whatever. Bear pulls out a Come bottle on. of alcohol. It's so luxury, not luxury. Like luxury. So what's up? How do you like being a part of Team Dark Rising so far? It's cool. I like you guys, even though you all can get a bit weird at times. Heh, you haven't seen nothing. Growing up in Unova, everything is so bright. And the people are so quirky. It's really crazy. If the people there are anything like you, I think I'll go nuts after 24 hours. Ha! After this is all over, we'll take a flight there. One day. Ooh. See, so that's when you want to date. Sounds like a plan. Barrett's all good. I think I'll go see Blake next. Oh? Senpai, anything suspicious happening? No, but what's about- what's that Pokemon? 
Mew, it came to deliver a message from Arceus to me. Well, damn. I mean, if Mew is acting as a messenger, then we really did get tricked by Hoopa. So you're able to just communicate and exchange messages with the god of all Pokemon that easy? Yes, it has guided me through several regions in my efforts to defeat the rug. Why can't Arceus just defeat the rug? Why does it need a human to begin with? There is a higher power that even the rug that than even the rug that Arceus is battling somewhere. So it has entrusted me to stop the rug. And I'm afraid I cannot share anything more than that. Alright, I guess. Not to meddle in your affairs or anything, but Joanna mentioned Adrian's wife. You her name is Alcina. We were in a relationship before I met Joanna. That is the past. Joanna is my present and future. That's all. Got it. Well, this got awkward quick. I'll see what Amaris is doing. That's still... like... Alrighty. So he has all these... like, he can talk to... to Arceus, he can do all this stuff, and then when we did it, our main character in the first and second game, we got literally nothing. Which okay. showed you everything. And I can't talk to Mew, of course. It's a weird sprite anyway. It is, it looked really stretched out. Oh no. Oh, Amara, sorry, I didn't know you were undressed. I'll leave right now. How amusing, it's fine. It's just a casual bra and panty set, nothing special. Besides, you're almost an adult, aren't you? What is this? How old are we? I don't know. You shouldn't be blushing as much as you are right now. I thought they were ten. I don't know. I'm just gonna go ask. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ask the captain to unlock one of the rooms down here for me. Alright, make sure you have two beds like me. What are you going to do with two beds? Why, well, push them together, of course. Unless you want to sleep in here next to me? What is this? We need an adult. We are adults. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I... I'd be like, goodbye, Amaris. A loud, glass-shattering noise is heard. What was that? I don't know. Go check it out. I'll get dressed. And meet you there. Okay. I just want to get out of this room. Right? Just leave. That was Wait, too much. That was... That was definitely something. And I'm a little sad Silver missed it because then we would have made fun of it. Uh, I cannot enter any of these. So it's probably kitchen time, yeah. One lumberry. Okay. Chesto. Citrus. How did she get there How before you? Come? I don't she know. Get there before you? Hey, there's a little ghost girl. Senpai, who's that little girl over there? So you can see her too, huh? Oh, pitiful shadow lost in the darkness. Bringing... Torment and pain to others. Oh, damned soul wallowing in- Hey, you're not supposed to be saying things like damned, you're like five years old. <sighs> wallowing in your sin. Perhaps it is time to die. Hey, you're five! Stop that! What are you talking about? I haven't done... anything to anyone. You haven't? Liar. The living are all alike. You selfish beings. You hurt others. And even kill just to satisfy your aspirations. I will do the same to anyone who dares to step foot on the ship. We're already on the ship. You're dead. You're actually a ghost. Listen, I don't know what happened to you, but no one on this ship wants to hurt you. Trickery is one of the highest traits to human. One of the highest traits of humanity. Your words have no power here. I will kill every single person on this ship 
starting now. Senpai, I just received a call from Blake. And Barrett, the power on the upper floors is out. Run. Uh, Chris is And she vanished. This is the- this is angst, but it's better than the other stuff. Creepy kids is a common trope. Her, her, living are bad because they kill others, so I'm gonna kill them. I can't run, my knees are messed up. Oh, crew. Rip. Common knowledge, but yeah. It still sucks. Oh, there she is again. Inside this, inside this, there's nothing here. Where'd she go? Uh... What happened? I was attacked. It took Bruce and Barrett to the captain's quarters. Go! I have to wait. Choice band! This music is way too happy. The, it you know it really is. Cool? They couldn't have you know done. Cool? They... Lavender Town. I was just gonna say that. They should have just done Lavender Town. If they want it trope heavy, they should have just done Lavender Town. How dare they not use Lavender Town? I'm very upset. Alright, this is most likely the boss fight. Alrighty, so this fight is fun in big gigantic quotes. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a reason I grinded to 55, and this thing is uh, all ice, blizzard spam, in snow warning. And there's two megas. Fun. So, Indeed. Yeah. Those two I could probably... It's on the outside part of the ship for dramatics. Oh, okay. This is not the actual fight. What the? Bruce and the sailor are forced against the wall. Let Bruce and the sailor go, you little brat. What have they ever done to you? It's not what they've done to me, but what they've done... To others. Let them go, they didn't do anything. Should I use my Pokemon to attack her? She's clearly not human. Go right ahead. No, just wait, give me a minute. Now do you see? If I don't comply, you use brute force. And in response, the living don't care for others. You can't judge all of us. I can judge these two. Both are guilty of killing. Bruce, is that true? Ugh, it was in self-defense. The guy was going to kill his sister. Alrighty then. That escalated quickly. That's enough. You want somebody to judge? Judge me. Take me instead. I will. Your monsters are also guilty of harming. The innocent. I'll kill them first. Then you. If you want to leave the ship with your life, you must meet me on the deck. Diana Mon will punish your monsters for their crimes, as I will punish you for yours. Damn, they all just vanished. I will forever be salty that they didn't use Lavender Town. Just grab one of the trash cans on the ghost and book it. You can't scare me. Can we talk to any of these guys? No, of course not. Alright, now I save and hope that I put the right lead in front. Uh, let me see who has higher speed for one moment. 
Because I want Pan to outspeed. Pan probably has higher speed, yeah. Nice missing no ornament on the front of the ship. I'm ready, but first, tell me how you died. I gave myself the name Snow because I've long since forgotten what my mother called me. I died because of him. <laughs> nice cheery music, says Crew. Snow points to the sailor. What? Th that that's not true. I've never seen you before. In my life. 20 years ago, the ship was attacked by a raging Gyarados. Everyone rushed towards the lifeboats, including me and my mother. This man pushed me aside with force in order to get on the boat, releasing the grip I had on my mother's hand. I died being trampled by the stampede of heartless humans who didn't bother to help me stand. Damn. Oof. Also, Versil says, I gave myself the name Snow because just like Snow and Sinnoh, I'm responsible for the most annoying part of the game. <laughs> They all stomped on me without care. I spent the last 20 years watching humanity treat the world and others like shit. This little girl swearing. <laughs> she swears like a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> That's my kind of level of jokes. <laughs> Although my memory... I had to do it, it was flawless. Although my memory is vague of that night, I've never forgotten your face. Despite how old you've become. I will kill you slowly. Oh my god. The sailor attempts to flee, but Bruce grabs him. This little bitch is crazy. Let me go. She tried to kill you too, remember? Snow, I'm sorry about what happened. But I cannot let you kill this man. Two wrongs. Don't make a right, I'm sorry. But three rights makes a left. Wait, does she have two- sorry, just a sec. Does she have two eyes? Is that supposed to be like her eyebrow? That's a piece of hair. Oh, okay. Then you will die with him, just like your Pokémon. Dianamon, come! A freezing breeze fills the air. This is vengeance, so I'm to ferry you to hell. I'm to ferry you to hell. Yeah, more boat puns, yay! Oh, suddenly she's not little. Alrighty then. That's literally just a Lola sprite. Fridgemon's healer made it hail! Yeah, you know, because healer makes things hail. That's weird. Seems legit. Alrighty, Fridgemon's healer made it heal. Healer, healer, not much of a difference. Thank you for hitting front. I can't really Good afford fun. to have you miss. Or not one shot, actually. And one shot. Good job, front. And a bomb smell. Bomb smell. Alrighty. Yeah. So, we're just gonna go into pan and flamethrower this thing because I. These things are just double weak ties. I mean, double weak ties. Double weak to fire. Pan is definitely faster, yeah. That's why I made sure to to go into Pan. Which is good because it has Earthquake, yeah. Uh, Frostlass. I'm pretty sure I want Pan out for this. I just need to check mm -hmm. uh, what its moves are. Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Water Pulse. This thing does have Snow Cloak. I'm actually gonna switch because it has a salt vest. I can actually, I, I can, 
Yeah, I can f uh, fire punch this thing. Oh, she's so beautiful. It should have a pepper vest. Mm. Oh, it's faster. Okay. Oh, that did nothing! Bye, Frostlass. Yeah, it is a Frostlass. They do just have 80. Or is it... 95. Uh, I accidentally clicked past that. I think that was M. Glalie. If you give it a knife, it's Frost Slash. That is Mega Glalie. Headbutt, Crunch, it has a Refrigerate. Water Pulse, Earthquake. Fro is this Frost Loss? This thing has Earthquake. I don't think I can one-shot it, so I want to go into something that can tank it. Dreaming. Who are you dreaming? It's okay. What was that cry? Oh, it was a uh, hip? No? One of those, yeah. Unfortunately, Disgrace also does not have very good set. Yeah, that did nothing. There's a reason I trained in HP and defense. Oh, that's right, this thing has leftovers. Because, you know, mechas with items. What a disgrace. That's okay. I can out-damage this thing pretty easily. Did you not get the joke? Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Her name might Oof. be Disgrace, but she's pretty darn graceful, honestly. She looks like she's graceful. Yeah! Nice! Nice crit! So close. I am... Ah... Uh... I mean, I can take another hit. He's gonna heal. I can, can guarantee he's gonna heal here. I wish you would get confused. Same. That would be nice. I always thought Mega Glalie, even just regular Glalie, I always thought they were scary looking. They are, and their Pokedex entry for Mega Glalie is really sad. Actually, I don't need a heal. Yeah, I don't need a heal. It's sad? Yeah, I don't want to read it though, because it's, oh, okay. it's sad. Oh, okay. They're, they're, let's just say they're literally in screaming agony. The entire time that the... they're mega evolved. I wonder why it was made to be that way. That still sounds evil. Like why somebody would, like why it mega evolved to be that way. Actually, if you read all of the Mega Evolution Pokedex entries, they're very scary. Apparently Mega Evolution is, it's, in the games, it's like, oh yeah, it's based on friendship, and you have to have a strong bond, and then you mega evolve, and it, and you read the Pokedex entry, and it's like, oh yeah, look, 
Mega Gyarados brain is literally taken over by angry hormones. Mega Glalie's literally in pain because its jaw is broken. Uh uh Salamance is literally called the blood soaked crescent. It's crazy. Yikes. I saw a theory that the little index entries for Mega are deliberately like that. I've seen that too. I don't think many of the Gen 6 Dex entries are like that. Maybe Kalos fought Alola. True! That could be it. Propaganda for promoting Z-moves. I could believe that too. Okay, it says, hey, how can you crunch anything if your jaw is dislocated? I have no clue. Yeah, right here it says Mega Glalie's jaw is dislocated because of overwhelming energy. Maybe it doesn't feel it too much. But yeah, it can't close its mouth. No, I don't think it can. That sucks though, at the same time. Causing its mouth to extend to the length of its face. The lower jaw is all black except for two light blue conical icy spikes. The pupils in Mega Glalie's eyes are now red instead of black. The horns on top of Mega Glalie's head's have, head have been partially turned into ice, with the addition of a third horn on its forehead. Uh, Zudamon. I just want to check the stats on this. This thing, this is the physical attacker. Okay. It's weak, specialty wise, and this thing can't- this thing can bulk up, though. Yeah. Uh, is it just- it's got- thick fat. It's water ice, okay. Uh, should I stay in? I, I think I should can be fine. Still. Endless blizzards from its broken mouth though gets irritated by the fact that it can no longer consume its prey. Oh wait, is it yeah. not Vikemon? Is it Zudomon instead? It looks like Zudomon. That's what it says. This, this is Zudomon, but I can't remember if Ikakamon turns into Vikemon or Zudomon. Because I know they, they're they similar in my memory, but... Either way, let's try and grass knot it and see how much it does. Oh, both. Oh damn, that did a lot. Oh, it's Ikakamon into Zudomon into Vikemon. Oh, okay, that's it. Man, Disgrace is doing work here. That wasn't even Stab and that did a lot of damage. So would Meta Glalie starve then since it can't consume anything? Well, I mean it just turns back into normal Glalie. So it doesn't stay like that for long. No. I mean, in in game, Mega Evolution is only in battle. Right. But in this game, apparently it just stays forever, so. That's really sad. It doesn't seem like a very nice Pokemon, but I still don't think it really deserves to suffer like that. Well, I mean, Frostless has been known to freeze opponents solid. Well, she does that so they won't leave her. Dynamon. Uh, do 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 do. Hypnosis Blizzard. Hydro Pump Psychic. This thing is ice water. Refrigerate. Never melt ice. With Mega Lasting One Battle Glalie just being like the cats that pretend they haven't been fed for 20 years. <laughs> you lose something, let it go, or whatever. So, this thing is really powerful specially wise but it has shit defense. Well, it's got 85 defense based on- as compared to 100 special defense, but it also has 103 speed, so... Uh, let me just check. I meant to check, but also Disgrace is probably the best thing. The only thing this thing can do is put me to sleep, or use Psychic. Dianamon. I'm not all Frostless like that. 
Yeah, there's one of them that was in Mystery Dungeon, but not all of them are like that. Yeah, I know! Also, what the heck does this thing look like? Because that is a bad sprite. So it's a, me a sitting mechanical Waluigi with a pickaxe. You're welcome. S oh yeah, that thing! Why the heck does that thing look so bad? That's so good looking. It's actually more accurate than I expected. Berries. Let me see if I have any chestos. Yeah, I have an 11 chestos. We should be good. What is that sprite compared to that? She loves her friends and would never freeze them. Yeah, I'm talking about frost lace. Damn, that actually did some damage. But that also did some damage. So did okay. that. <laughs> Someone please give Mecha Waluigi his hat back. He's freezing. I'm just gonna heal in case of a crit. Or, you know, you can just Hydro Pump again. I hear Callie in the other room crying. Ace Cream! <laughs> Love it. Best part is, this is just out of heal range, which means it's a two shot. Whoops, I keep doing it in the wrong order. Hi, Callie. Why? This man is evil. Snow. Purple. <laughs> Brazil. Wah! 